On November 10, 1775, the Continental Congress passed a resolution drafted by John Adams directing the Naval Committee to raise two battalions of Marines. This was done primarily to assist the fledgling Continental Navy in a planned amphibious expedition to Nova Scotia, though Congress had determined that the Marines would continue to serve afterwards. Within a year, American Marines had made their first landing on a hostile shore when a force under Captain Samuel Nicholas captured New Province Island in the Bahamas from the British in March 1776. The Marines were disbanded at the end of the Revolution, but re-established as a permanent military force in July of 1798. This Day in History brought to you by the Freedom Trail Foundation, partnered with the Massachusetts Teachers Association to bring history to life.